Uh, the time is now 5.58. I've done $314 worth of business. I'd say that's pretty good. I just uh, dropped a customer off after doing a $30 fare and then had to go to the restroom real bad so I had to find a gas station and I wasn't going to wait until the gas station I was going to go to to fuel up and wash the car. I just couldn't wait and no they didn't fix the light so I, I don't have any light coming in. Turning red, keep going. Fuck. I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. And uh, yeah, it's, it was it was busy before midnight. Very busy. I made like I made over two hundred dollars before midnight. And then the last hundred was between midnight and six. So twice as busy before midnight. It was one right after another, more or less. And some good fares in there, too. Now I'm just, uh, just tired and fed up. And it rained for quite a while, too. Between 6 and 10 o'clock it rained last night. And since then it's been quieter hasn't rained. Uh, it, the streets are all dry by now. But the car is dirty. So I gotta go to a car wash. Do I want to go out there with the wand wash and do that? Or do I want to take it through a proper car wash? I think I want to take it through a proper car wash. care if it costs more. I just don't want to futz around with the wand wash this morning. That's about it. Time is 6.14 Tuesday morning. I just came through the car wash. I uh, had a night where it was steady before midnight, and by about 1 o'clock or 1 30 or so, I had 200 on. Then it got quiet until 4. And at 4, I got super busy, one right after another. Between 4 and 6, it was non stop, one after another. Ended up having a total of $300 night. But it was so hard to get going after sleeping between 1.30 and 4 and then going full pin one right after another between 4 and 6. Let me tell you, it was hard to get going. I didn't feel like it. I wanted to fall asleep every time I dropped somebody off. And now this is one of the last mornings after or around 6 o'clock where we're going to have... Uh, enough daylight so that you'll be able to see me and of course uh, these wipers this this light here there's a light it doesn't work so I can't shine it on my face uh, the one from the other side well it a little bit not not much yeah this uh, Monday night was a success tired and I gotta go to the chiropractor I gotta have my back adjusted and then I gotta get my neck stretched yep all fun this morning the time is now 6 16 a.m. I had a good night here's how it started I was uh, sitting there talking with the owner of the car at the beginning of my shift and I got a call to Walmart which was two blocks away I picked up at Walmart and they went out to Goldstream 
and that was a $30 fare. Then I got sent to another address on Goldstream, and that guy went out to a place called Shirley. Now Shirley is a small community about 20 kilometers past Souk. $85 fare. He gave me 95. So the first guy with a $30 fare gave me 35. The second one with a $85 fare gave me 95. So I had $130. That's lease and fuel and 25 bucks in the first two trips. I cleared from the second one at 7.30. And the rest of the night went pretty well. It was busy before midnight and after midnight it was quite dead. But I still ended up with about $350. So my mission is complete for Tuesday night. I didn't have trouble from anyone. Everything was smooth. Everything was easy. I tried to watch videos, but kept falling asleep. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to go fuel up, because I just went through the wash. I did the wash. I cleaned up. Now I'm going to go... Uh, go fuel it and park it. Be back tomorrow. It's 6.14 on Friday morning. I've had a busy night. <clears throat> I did $626 worth of business. And I got a little surprise. I got sent to an address that... I may have taken people to before, but I got sent there to pick someone up. And it was my old acquaintance, the man who throws his money around. Yep. We went there, and he wanted to make sure his brother got home. So we took his brother home and went back to that address again. He gave me $60 for a $9 fare. Shut up, you piece of shit. And uh, then later on he called me again and he went for a $24 ride to his mother's house from there. And he gave me another 40 then later on he called me up from his mother's house to go home to his place it was $18 on the clock and he gave me $20 but still a grand total of what was it 9 and 24 so 33 plus 18 so basically $51 worth of business and he gave me a hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> yeah great isn't it yeah I had to put up with his bullshit but still you know he's paying that much and I hadn't seen him for several months now anyways and the rest of the night was very good too I, you know I think the I, I did 20 trips and I did $426, so that's more than $20 average per trip. Well, yeah, when, when you get him paying me more than double what the fares were, yeah, I guess it works out to that. Hmm. I am tired now. I am quite tired. I'm 12 solid hours of mostly driving. I watched a few videos, but every time I wanted to sit down and watch a video or relax and lean back, I get another call. It was busy, like I said. I haven't had a night under $300 this week. 
and one more night to go that's the Friday night that's coming up anyway I've come from the uh, place where you the car wash and I'm about to pull into the gas station to fuel up so I'll be back I guess tonight Friday morning Friday morning the time is 622 I got almost 300 on that's enough I've had a busy week I'm tired I slept uh, every opportunity I could in the morning hours and so I'm somewhat rested right now and that means I won't have an easy time getting to sleep at home in the morning and so it goes but it's my weekend as soon as I fuel this thing I just came out of the car wash special adventures tonight no nothing really I had one loud car full of people at one point most of my passengers were quiet yeah it was relatively low energy low energy tonight That's the end of my week. Hope yours is better than mine.